You're a better man than he is, a better person. Welcome to Culture Screen, where we analyze culture. In this episode, we are summarizing the 12th episode from Season 5 of the Sopranos series titled Long Term Parking. The episode first aired on May 23rd, 2004. In the beginning, Phil Leotardo has a flashback where Blondetto is in the middle of taking out his brother Billy. In the flashback, Blondetto also tries taking Phil out as well. Phil, Johnny Sack, and the New Jersey crew end up having a sit-down where they discuss what Blondetto did and what they expect in return of Billy's assassination and the attempt on Phil's life. Tony makes it clear to the New York crew that he never ordered a single hit against any members of the New York crew. Johnny also demands Tony tell him where Blondetto is. Tony replies that he does not know where Blondetto is. Phil grows enraged at this and ends up storming off from the sit-down meeting. Johnny asks Tony again for the whereabouts of Blondetto when Tony responds that he truly does not know. Johnny tells them that they are all essentially in danger if they do not give up Blondetto as soon as possible to his crew. As a way of tracking down Blondetto, Tony tasks Silvio with reaching out to one of the people he knows in the phone company Blondetto uses. When Silvio follows up with his connection at the company, they are able to track down Blondetto to a bar in upstate New York. As soon as Tony gets off the phone, he calls up his uncle Pat Patrizio Blondetto. While speaking to his uncle Pat, Pat mentions that his home is still waiting to be further developed, but the developments have been paused due to some environmental issues with the property. In the end of their conversation, Pat mentions that the home is currently empty. At this moment, Tony realizes Blondetto must be hiding at Uncle Pat's home. As we catch up with Little Carmine and his feud with Johnny Sack, we see Little Carmine decides to take the high road and he steps down from competing with Johnny for the New York throne. He ends up ceding to Johnny and Johnny becomes the de facto boss of New York. When Tony and Johnny meet up by the Manhattan Bridge, Tony tries to convince Johnny of allowing him to take out Blondetto in order to give him an easy death. Johnny refuses and he tells Tony that Blondetto will be given to Phil Leotardo and that Phil will decide how to deal with Blondetto, most likely in a slow manner. Tony gets upset at Johnny's unwillingness to negotiate and he ends up telling Johnny Sack that he will handle Blondetto as he sees fit and that he does not care what the consequences may be. Tony drives away and Johnny is a bit shocked by this move. In another scene, we see Tony and Carmela seem to be getting along and Tony agrees to spend $600,000 on a spec house Carmela wants. Tony also breaks up with the Guma Valentina who was badly burned in the prior episode. Later on, Christopher botches a cigarette scam by not applying the tax stamp to the packets. Due to this error, ATF agents are now investigating their operation and Tony forces Chris to split his earnings with Paulie. This causes Chris to grow enraged and he ends up spilling his anger and frustrations to Adriana as she cries on their couch. Chris feels that Tony favors Blondetto even though Blondetto has caused their entire crew to be threatened by the New York crew due to his inability to control his emotions. Chris feels like he's being passed over constantly and is resentful of Tony's treatment of him. She thinks she might be able to get Multisandi to flip. Remember, I am summarizing this entire series as well as other popular works of literature, movies, and TV shows as well. Subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss the next episode or series. Let me know what you'd like me to summarize in the comments section below. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Visit our merch store and support us on Patreon if you can. Doing this helps my channel out tremendously. I thank you for your support. You're not horrible at all. I'm going back to my wife. As we catch up with the FBI agents, we see they are keeping a close watch on Adriana. When they see her tossing a small bag of trash into the trash bin outside of her club, they find it oddly suspicious. After they find the body of a man named Gilbert Nieves washed ashore, the FBI agents end up bringing Adriana in and they question her about Gilbert Nieves. She ends up folding immediately and tells the agents the entire story of how Gilbert and a local dealer named Matush had an argument which ended in Gilbert losing his life. This leads the agents to push Adriana into wearing a wire. They order her to wear the wire in order to record Christopher and Tony. Adriana ends up telling them that Chris has been upset with Tony lately. She tells the agents that she may be able to get Christopher to flip and become an informant with her. The agents agree to have her try and flip Christopher into being an informant, but they give her a deadline. Later on, Adriana heads home and she tells Christopher that she was arrested a year earlier and has been forced into working with the FBI since then. She tries to convince Christopher about becoming an informant and joining the witness protection program 
and starting over a new life together. Christopher attacks her at first, but then breaks down in tears and sits down next to her. Christopher leaves to buy something from the store and he sees a family coming out of the same store. Chris sees the couple with multiple children and the man looking absolutely bored out of his mind, living a mediocre life. This scene serves as a reminder to Chris that Adriana may not be able to have children. He also realizes that becoming an informant would lead him to having a life he despises. Chris makes his decision and in the next scene, we see Tony calling Adriana. When Adriana picks up the phone, she answers and Tony tells her not to worry, but Christopher is in the hospital after attempting to hurt himself. Tony tells her that he is on the way to the hospital and Silvio is on his way to pick Adriana up as well. Adriana is nervous and in the next scene, she is seen with Silvio driving away. Silvio tells Adriana not to worry about Chris. Moments later, he drives off the road and drives into the woods. When Silvio parks his car, Adriana finally comes to the realization that she is about to be taken out for being an informant. Adriana is dragged out of the car and she tries crawling away from Silvio, but Sil walks up to her and takes her out in the middle of the woods. After this scene, we see Christopher taking Adriana's belongings and packing them in a small suitcase. He drives Adriana's car and dumps the suitcase on the side of a road near a power plant. He then drives Adriana's car to an airport and abandons it in the long-term parking section. Christopher does this in order to make it seem like Adriana fled. We then see FBI agent San Severino goes to speak to Agent Cubitoso and Agent Harris. She tries to tell them that Adriana could have run away, but the other agents don't seem to believe that Adriana ran and instead seem to believe San Severino is being a bit naive. Agents Cubitoso and Harris quickly move on to target Mantush, the dealer Adriana mentioned when they last questioned her. This move leads the viewer to think that these two much experienced agents know Adriana was most likely taken out, much like many of the other informants. In the final scene, Carmela and Tony head over to see the spec house she purchased. Tony seems a bit sad and he looks around the woods. We see the wooded area around the spec house looks almost exactly the same as the area where Silvio took out Adriana. The similarity of the setting is a bit off-putting to Tony and we see how he comes to accept his decision to take out Adriana as he sits on a tree stump with Carmela by his right side. That was episode number 64 titled Long Term Parking. To watch the next or previous episode summary, click on the link in the description or at the end of this video. In the description, you will also find additional links for supporting our channel. See you on the next episode. She really could have fled. She could be in China by now. We upload new videos every week, so subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit the like button as well. Click the notification bell to be notified of when we upload these videos. See you on the next episode of Culture Screen.